Hi, my name is Lily and I'm here with the University of California, Irvine in-home supportive services caregiver education presentation on medication management. Hi, my name is Monsi. Hi, I'm Anoop. My name is Sharon. Next up is our acknowledgement slide. Here are our acknowledgements to the School of Nursing and our professors. And a short outline regarding what polypharmacy is, the importance of medication management, ways to help medication management, and some key takeaways for you. Next up will be my classmate, Monsi, with some common mistakes of polypharmacy. Thank you, Lily. So first, we're going to start by discussing the common mistakes of medication management within the elderly population, the most common being ignoring dosing instructions. So oftentimes, this may lead to overdose as people may take more doses than needed or more doses often. Or this also means taking them at the wrong time or skipping doses, doubling doses, just basically self-prescribing instead of listening to provider instructions. Another common mistake is mixing up medications. Also, this could mean accidentally taking the wrong medication or especially if medications have similar names. So it's very important for the caregiver to understand what medications are taken when and why they're taken to make sure that they don't accidentally mix up medications with each other and accidentally give the wrong one to their patient or their loved one, whoever they're taking care of. Other common mistakes include incorrect storage and disposal of medications. So oftentimes if medication is stored incorrectly, it can lead to diminished efficacy of the medication. And so it's very important to understand how to store it properly and how to dispose of it properly. So when no one takes expired medication, no one takes bad medication. And all of this together can lead to polypharmacy, which is one of the most dangerous mistakes. And in the next slide, I will discuss more about polypharmacy. So polypharmacy is the use of five or more medications to treat one or more health conditions. Polypharmacy is very common for the elderly population as an average older adult takes around two to nine medications a day. The reason why polypharmacy is very dangerous is because it proposes a high risk for adverse drug interactions. This risk just increases more as more medications are taken. Because these older adults take around two to nine medications a day, it's very likely for these drugs to be from different prescribers, different pharmacies, and they may not always realize that there are adverse drug reactions being taken, happening in the body, especially because older adults are more susceptible to these to begin with. And now Anoop will discuss what is medication management and why it's important and some benefits. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anoop and I'll be talking about medication management for older, older adults. Um, since the elderly population has a higher rate of non-compliance and like non-adherence rate, it's really important um, to educate patients about medication management and about their benefits as well. Um, this is even more important since there are many mistakes involved in medication management, such as the ones Monsi discussed uh, in the previous slides. Um, this is important because many adults um, use five or more medications per week. So the process of medication management involves selecting the right medications and taking them at the right time. It also involves making sure one is taking the right dose of the medication through the right route, which is most commonly through the oral route. It is also important to ensure that the individual can obtain the medication, whether it be having access to a pharmacy or just having it accessible within their own home. And the overall goal of medication management is to ensure that the individual can take the prescribed medication correctly. And medication management, so just to talk about the benefits of medication management, it is very important to prevent mistakes individuals make when taking their medication. So through proper medication management, such as making sure one is taking the correct medication, individuals can reduce adverse drug reactions, and it also improves health outcomes for older adults as a medication that's being used, it's being used for the desired action. And medication management also reduces non-compliance rates 
and places less of a financial burden and mental stress on older adults and their family members. Next, Lily will talk about ways to help manage medication. As Anoop said, we'll be discussing some ways to help manage medications for the elderly population next in our presentation. So the first way to help organize and manage medications is using an organizational schedule for when to take different medications. Um, making a list with the schedule can be very helpful, um, especially if this list includes the name, dosage, so how much of the medication, the frequency, which is when the medication should be taken, administration instructions, such as with food or with a full glass of water, according to both the drug and provider interactions and instructions, and if possible, a picture of the medication um, so that it can be easily picked out from a pill box. Furthermore, learning about medications from your loved one's provider can be helpful to learn possible drug interactions, the side effects of different drugs, and the dosage amounts of how much of each drug should be taken. Educating your loved ones about the dangers of self-prescribing is also very important to help one learn about which medications should and should not be used at the same time. And monitoring for medication compliance within your loved ones who are in the elderly population or may struggle with polypharmacy is very important. Next up, Anoop will be talking about medication storage. So along with maintaining a proper medication schedule and education, it's important to store medications safely and appropriately. Um, organizing medications and storing them correctly may seem somewhat of a hassle, but it's very important to do in order to prevent um, damaging medication and making sure the medication is um, appropriate for you to use. So you want, always want to keep medications in labeled containers and store them in a cool, dry area. You do not want to store any medications in the bathroom or near the sink. Um, these are considered damp places, which you want to avoid for medication storage as moisture can damage the medication, medication and its efficacy. Furthermore, do not store medication in direct sunlight, such as heat, because it can damage the medication. Um, some medications may have specific storage instructions, like storing it in a refrigerator. Um, if this is the case, you can ask the pharmacist how the medication should be stored to gain proper knowledge and education about the storing process. Next, um, we're talking about pre-planning medication. So pre-planning medication helps reduce mistakes as well as adverse reactions from taking the wrong medication. So some ways to pre-plan medication include using a weekly pill box, if appropriate, such as the one in the image. And it, this one shows a weekly pill box from Sunday to Saturday. Um, it allows one to keep track of doses and compliance. There are also several other types of uh, pill boxes. There are pill boxes, weekly pill boxes that allow for AM and PM doses to be separated. Another way to pre-plan medication is to use pill scheduling apps. Um, next, Monty will discuss um, how pill scheduling apps work and as well as how to set reminders for medication. As caregivers, you can set up apps or just simple reminders on your own device to send out an alarm whenever it is time for your loved one or whoever you are caring for to take their own medication. This will remind you to remind them and help with medication compliance and help your loved one stay on track with their medications to avoid any adverse reactions or avoid being off schedule. And another helpful hint is to talk with the pharmacist, talk with your provider to determine if there's any way to minimize the amount of medications your patient, your client, your loved one is taking to treat each condition. Of course, be sure to discuss with the provider before stopping or changing any medication use. Next up, Sharon will be doing a review on all the information we have learned so far. My name is Sharon and we're gonna do a couple true or false questions. Um, so the first one is true or false. Medication management increases compliance and health outcomes. 
True. Um, proper medication management ensures that like it improves all health outcomes for older adults and it increases compliance with medication. Um, true or false, when making a medication list, one should include the medication name, dose, and frequency. True. Um, true or false, Lo location. medication should be stored in a warm area, such as near sunlight. False, medication should not be stored anywhere near um, direct sunlight. Um, all medications should be taken on an empty stomach. False. This can depend and you just have to listen to your provider's instructions. Weekly pill boxes and setting alarms are an effective way to keep track of when to take medications. True. Um, now we'll watch a quick brief one minute video um, about proper storage for medications. About young children getting into medications. You should never leave medications or vitamins out on a table, countertop, or sink, or any easy to access spot. You may want to consider storing them in a childproof medication safe. Also keep purses, bags, and coats that contain them out of reach in your home and when visiting others. And remember to always lock caps tightly and put away medications after every use. About young children getting into medications. You should never leave medications or vitamins out on a table, countertop, or sink, or any easy to access spot. You may want to consider storing them in a childproof medication safe. Also keep purses, bags, and coats that contain them out of reach in your home and when visiting others. And remember to always lock caps tightly and put away medications after every use. Keep in mind that most pill organizers don't have child-resistant closures. If your OTC pain medication has expired or you no longer have a need for it, make sure to dispose of it properly to avoid misuse by others. Most OTC medications can be thrown in the trash unless the medication our key takeaways for this presentation are that improper medication management can lead to polypharmacy and a greater risk for adverse drug reactions. It's important to understand the purpose for each medication and important side effects by discussing each with the provider. Keeping a detailed list of each medication and each medication's dosage and frequency can help manage when your loved one is dealing with polypharmacy including visuals of each medication is important if at all possible. Here are our references throughout the presentation. And a big thank you to all of you for watching. Please email Jung Ali with any questions or reach out to the UC Irvine Health Team. Thank you.